hello guys welcome back to another tutorial of MSc Atom CO this is our last lecture on this menu and after this lecture we will start modeling okay so this is our tool setting so under the setting the first option is coordinate system if we open this so here we can see that the default coordinate system in MSC Eden view is Cartesian coordinate system okay and then there is also a cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system so we can select like cylindrical and just set apply so here you can see that the orientation of uh, the dotted line is changed now it's our frame of reference is converted into cylindrical so you can choose from here by default it is Cartesian okay in the next step you can see that there is a rotation sequence and there are 23 24 rotations sequence are available what it's mean that like uh, X Y Z this is our X axis Y axis and Z axis and uh, this is represented one y represented 2 and z represented 3 so 3 1 3 mean z x and z so this is the rotation sequence so you can select uh, any rotation sequence available or in this option but we mostly use 3 1 3 rotation sequence next you can see that there are two options body fixed and space fixed if we select body fix then this sequence rotation will apply considering the body frame of reference okay and if we will select the space fix then it will consider this uh, global coordinate system and then rotate the uh, body according to this frame of reference okay so these are option available i'm going to uh, set as default so I just click the Cartesian in normal modeling we uh, use this one so we don't need to change maybe in your modeling you have to change in some specific cases then you can change otherwise you have to put this default right, okay so let's go to the next the next is working grid if we open this one the first option is that you can show or you can hide these working grids you just need to click here now you can see that the working grids are not appear but if want if you want to put working grid then you can select this one okay now our working grids are shown so this option can use to hide and show the working grid next there are two types of uh, uh, working grid available the first one is the rectangular so you can see that this is our working grid this is also specify the area okay specify the area that we are working in this area but if one if you want to make it polar then you can select from here okay and here you can see that the maximum radius let me apply okay so here you can see that the 750 millimeter this is the maximum radius it means that the distance from this center to this extreme point is 750 millimeter so this is you we can say that this is a circle of 750 millimeter radius okay so if uh, you want to convert into polar so you can put from here and the next is circle spacing it means that the distance between two dot is 50 millimeter okay so these are some options but mostly I use rectangular so in rectangular you can say that the size 750 and let me apply here and 500 millimeter it means that in x-axis direction in x-axis direction the value is 750 millimeter and in y-axis direction is value is uh, 500 millimeter but we can change let's suppose i want to make it 600 so i just need to apply 600 and then go to apply now you can see that our grid are updated so you can use the size of the grid okay and the next is spacing this is 
from x axis and y axis what is spacing is bit the distance between these dotted lines okay let's suppose if you want make it 100 and then go to apply now you can see that the distance in horizontal direction is 100 and in vertical direction is 50 we can also modify this one if we want to make it 100 apply so here you can see that so we can update the size of this working grid and we can update the spacing of a working grid why we use this uh, working grid because it gave us a reference when we will start modeling you will see that these grid these point are taken as a reference point when we try to draw something so therefore we have to select this uh, um, spacing very precisely or according to our requirements so that this will help us during the modeling okay here you can see that this, these are the dot if we uncheck this one okay and then apply it then you can see that our dots are disappear but the axes are appear so if we check check this one and then go to apply then these both are available so here you can see that the weight weight mean the thickness of dot let's suppose uh, i select two then go to apply so here you can see that the uh, weight of uh, these dot is increased but we have to keep it one similarly we can increase the weight of the axis then go to apply so now you can see that the weight of axis is increased but uh, i suggest you to put it as default similarly you can draw the line between these grids so let's suppose if i apply here and then go to apply now you can see that uh, it's connected with the line so i just uncheck this one so i just want to put dot and axis here is the uh, location location is uh, uh, by default the location of this working grid is set as the global coordinates origin of the global coordinates so we don't need to change well, any other option so these are some available option that you can use in uh, with respect to the working grid okay the next option is uh, uh, units that is also very important so under the setting you can find the unit option so here you can see that there are four types of different unit system are available okay first one is mmks so the your length will be in millimeter and weight will be kilogram and time will be second and similarly mks then the length in meter and the mass in kilogram and the time in second similarly cgsc centimeter or uh, your mass is in gram and then ips inch pound per square uh, second so you uh, you you can select the unit according to your requirement of your model okay so this this option you can use to change the unit okay so the next is gravity so in this model you can see that this uh, red arrow uh, represented the gravity so now the gravity here we can see that our reference point this is y-axis if we move upside this positive y and downside negative y so the direction is negative y so here we can see that our gravity is minus y but if you want to change the direction we can apply plus sign and then ok and now you can see that our gravity is upward direction so we, from this option we can specify the direction of the gravity you can select x y or z but by default in downward direction then go to ok so you in this way you can specify your gravity uh, it does your gravity is working in downward direction or this direction or this, according to your requirement so you can use this option and the next is lightning so here you this is related to the rendering of your view screen now you can see that this light is uh, active and here are some options of intensity 
so you can increase or decrease the intensity of the light and from here you can increase or decrease the ambient and similarly you can change the angle of your light so you can change the setting according uh, like what you like and there are this this is basically we can say uh, our object place and these are different lights okay if we open this one now you can see that the light is also coming from this direction and this direction similarly if we select this one now you can see light the light is coming from this side also so these are different light options you can select according to your uh, uh, preferences this is just like a, a room and uh, at the center of room there is a piece and different then you can put different lights so that your product will look like better so you can use these option next the next important option is uh, under the setting is uh, view background color so by default this color is blue okay but you can change this color so let's suppose i want to make it white so we just select white oh gray so this is gray so you can choose any color from these are the available colors then go to apply then your background color will be like this one but if you want to make it default then you can select r and go to apply so from here you can specify the background color that you like and other very important uh, option is uh, we are i also already told about the two interface style one is default and one is classic that we already discussed if you want to save settings so you can save this one and next time when you will open your msc adam view then it will uh, remember your last settings and you can restore the default setting from this option okay so the next is tool so under the tool uh, one of uh, important is table editor so when we open the table editor so you can see it provide us the information let's suppose you have a model and have a lot of uh, parts in that model then you can open the table and you can see that now i select a part so it tell me that there are three parts in my uh, model the first one is the ground part second one is uh, so here we can also see that this is part two this is part three so, so it will show the information of the parts okay and then we can select marker so these are different markers basically the uh, location uh, coordinate of uh, the model or different parts and similarly you can see that points there is no point if you apply the joints and then it tell the table of the joints if you have applied the forces then it will show it so this is table will provide the information of your model so these are the uh, parameters that can be displayed in the form of table so we can close this one and then very important is plugin manager so here you can see that different plugin available like adams control adam durability adams explore machine d so these are different module of the adams okay we can also find from here so these are the module of the msc adams they can be plugged and unplug anytime okay and they have their capabilities if you if in future i will teach you when we need this then how can we plug in and plug out so if we open this plugin manager here you can see that there is a instant load option if i select this one and then go to apply then it will open the adams control and if i check this one it will also open the adams control and here you can find the description of these modules like uh, let's suppose this one adam durability so it will display what we can do with the help of this adam durability it's allow you to compute the stress strain on the component 
इंटरफेस फटीग लाइफ प्रोडिक्शन प्रोग्राम सो इट्स रिलेटेड टू द ड्यूरेबिलिटी टेस्ट एंड इट कैन प्रोवाइड दीज थिंग्स ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वर्जन विच वर्जन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल यू आर यूजिंग दैट इज एडम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एम एस सी एडम्स यू एंड हेयर इज अ लेसन्स ऑप्शन दिस विल टेल यू दैट आई दर द लेसन्स ऑफ दिस अवेलेबल और नॉट इफ द लेसन्स इज अवेलेबल दैन वी कैन यूज एंड इफ द लेसन्स इज नॉट अवेलेबल दैन वी कैन नॉट यूज ओके सो दिस इज द इंस्टेंट ऑप्शन ओके सो सिमिलरली वाइब्रेशन lessons is also available so in this way we just need to check and then go to apply and then this uh, specific module will uh, be available on your interface and you can use we will learn in detail uh, in later because these are the advanced option so first option is we can upload instantly okay but if you will here you can see that load at startup its option is also available if you will select from here and then go to apply then every time when you will open your msc items you you will see that these are, are available on your interface and you can directly use but this will uh, make your system heavier and it will during opening the msc items you it will take uh, we can say a little time we only i recommend you to only load these uh, Uh, modules when you want to use in your system so these are the option related to plugin manager and the next uh, is uh, so no one uh, no one imported is here so we will Uh, discuss when with respect to the modeling so this is our last uh, lecture on the introduction of interface okay and then we will start uh, our modeling i hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel